as you probably know, Washington, D.C. is a city full of important people and some self-important people as well who have jobs which sometimes require something called credentials, which must be listed on something called a dossier. We less important folks said just call them resumes in the old days. <laughs> Most of these personal portfolios are available only to those who walk the high-powered quarters of the White House or Congress or the State Department. One dossier, however, is available to anybody in Washington. It's, uh, right on the newsstands. It's this magazine. It's called Dossier Magazine, and it was started about five years ago. I don't know if you can't see. There it is. You can see all those important uh, faces there. It's uh, started five years ago by publisher David Adler, uh, founded on the belief that Washington's social life is just as interesting as its political life. We're going to talk now with David Adler about him and his magazine that the principle in Washington for society was that uh, the, the Washington social life revolves around politics, not any real society. It revolves around position, as you had mentioned. Uh, Washington society is probably the only catalyst for bringing together diplomats, ambassadors, senators, congressmen, White House officials, and it really is the only form of getting these people together because they are truly workaholics, not alcoholics, and spend all of their, most of them spend their time working, and the social scene is pure work. I remember when the magazine first came yes, out. Yes, yes. Is it fair to say that it, when it first came out, it was sort of quaint, perhaps, or considered that by some people? Nobody, nobody, nobody thought that it would, make, it would make it at all. No one thought that there was a market for this. We had just gone through the, the 60s and the Watergate era. This is the oldest form of journalism known to man. It is names and faces. We're a good news publication. And we are truly a dossier of what's going on. Uh, diplomats use it uh, to find out who's who, names, faces. Uh, lobbyists use it as a regular tool. Uh, we publish a real estate transaction section that publishes who bought what house and for how much. Is there a clamor to get in the magazine? There or? is a clamor to move into the neighborhoods that we send it to sometimes. <laughs> it, it truly has sort of taken on a certain mystique. We're a good news medium. There's some very famous faces. Three late greats there. But there's Rogers Morton right. and, uh, and uh, Rockefeller and Hubert Humphrey right. uh, all together. Uh, and for example, last week there was a party at the Canadian Embassy that pulled in all of the Democrats from the Carter administration. And these are the people that you thought would never uh, go to these parties. And we're finding that they are becoming more sophisticated socially and know the need for these parties and to represent themselves and their administration in social Washington. We've got a sequence here. This one is well, of the Queen. That's a class party, right? <laughs> what is that? Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth President Elizabeth Ford. and Betty Ford, that's yes. right. Right. That's, That's your basic above the salt invitation list, isn't it? Now, not only uh, Dossier, but everybody else covered that one, too. And here yes. we have the Shah of Iran and Jimmy Carter. Right. At, uh, I suppose, at the White House. Yeah. Yes. And Jimmy Carter's in the middle of a group of young boys. That I was a great picture at a, at a picnic and bar barbecue in back of the White House. Oh, I see. And there's and Linda, uh, Mrs. Johnson with Mrs. Humphrey, isn't it? Right. Look, right. They look like they're whispering there. Uh, <laughs> yes. Whispering into Mrs. Johnson's ear. Is, the, is your presence invited at most of these parties? And Do Amy hostesses Carter. and hosts want you there with your cameras? We're, we're very invited. We are, in a sense, a, uh, we're not um, out to hurt them in any way, so they trust us. And that is one of the th reasons that we do get invited and, and get invited back, which is the key to us. Well, isn't it true that uh, the, the society in Washington changes every four years? It changes the minute your position is gone. You can, you're uh, immediately taken off a lot of the, uh, lot of the lists. And we're finding that that's happening right now, that there is people taking bets on who's going to be the big uh, people in the Republican administration and, and are the Democrats going to their last few parties or not. What do you uh, do about divorce? Uh, when, when two prominent people get divorced, do you stop covering uh, the lesser of the two or do you try to cover them both in different places? Uh, we'll cover the person with, with, uh, with the position. Tell us about the Green Book and uh, isn't that, you, is that your Bible? It is the Social Register of Washington. Uh, there's a lot of uh, controversy about whether it truly is the Social Register of Washington. Is the president it, at the top of the list? The president is on, oh, yes, as a matter of fact. Every is. But, <laughs> That's the deciding factor, I guess. <laughs> yes. But there's a lot of controversy, and if you get divorced or if, you, if your children do something wrong, sometimes you're taken out. It's, it's totally arbitrarily done. Mr. Adler, in 10 seconds, do you think uh, your magazine could hurt some people running for re-election when the folks, folks at home see all the good times that they're having there? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank David very Adler, much. for uh, giving us a peek at the last five years. And happy and anniversary to that one. Dossier magazine. Yeah, That's good. right. <laughs>